Hello, and welcome back to DMM Makes Me Plays Psychonauts. In the last episode, we finished the horrible play section of this world. Now let's go actually have some fun on the dying part. Unfortunately, this time I'm actually alone, but alas. Whatever. We could take this on just you and me, viewers. Or viewers, you and me. You are not welcome here. So... We've got to go find the phantom, and those green lights actually, he will drop a lot of sandbags on you, so we have to be very careful around here. Come no closer. Be the last thing you do. So, we've got to figure out who the phantom is. Who this dashing, daring phantom actually is. If you start singing, Phantom. Okay, I'm gonna actually start showing off some of my skill this game. Just because if you've ever done the end game, you have to have some skill with this game. Granted, I think this part is one of the more harder parts of this game right here. I see you down there. I know you could see me down there, darling. Phantom, whoever you may be. No one quite knows who the Phantom is. It might be that ugly, icky girl that's been trying to, to do lead for... Uh, the, the play. But whatever. I think it's sec I I think the Phantom secretly me trying to, you know, correct the horrible acting in this world. Oh, hello. And there is a sensor around here if you haven't heard him yet. He's right here. This explore, thank you. Okay. This part actually looks kind of neat, but it's not that bad if you wait for it. <laughs> Except for I died. Watch your step. Yes, watch my step. I'll watch my step. And I don't fuck up. I can't believe I missed that. What the hell? Okay. Okay, I guess I actually have to double jump over these. I don't remember that. Having that much of a gap. Oh well. Anyway, how's everybody today? Or tonight, or whatever the heck you're watching is. You are not Ow. I thought I was invisible enough. I don't need invisibility anymore. Your sanctuary sucks. Alright, let's bounce some. Come no closer. Take some time with these trampoline segments, just because I swear to god the trampolines weren't meant to be bouncing across this much. And also, you don't, probably don't want to be on your sidewall for this. Okay, here you bag. It's okay. I usually am weird with this part here. Okay, hold on. I actually... Where does that lead? It leads up there. Except for... I see you down Fuck there. that. I'm just gonna come over here. I like how each of the sensors has a little flower bonnet. Hello. Open. Uh oh. Glorious Fall of Star. Now remember when I said I kind of spoiled it earlier because I haven't really explained it. That's supposed to be Gloria. What the big thing that her mother did to her was that she did commit suicide. They actually do explain it here. Everybody kind of makes fun of her and that's where she kind of gets her rage and delusion from. And I need the tag for this. And whatever. Okay. This hat box needs a hat yes, box. Yes, I know the hat box needs a hat box tag. Ooh, fuck. 
First time you meet the. Come down here and fight me. Oh, yeah. I guess come down here and fight me? Okay, fine. You guys are just chilling up there? Okay, whatever. Come on. These are what I call steroid sensors. They're kind of harder to kill. I actually would set them on fire, but I thought they actually spawned down here. So they're just annoying. Not welcome here. I actually just keep invisibility around. Fuck. These guys take a lot to kill, so they're annoying. But aside from that, nothing terribly bad. Last Terribly bad about them. I know I missed a lot of pigments, but I'm gonna like whatever. This part is where shit gets hard. Oh. We're gonna spawn. Get out of here. And you take that. Alright, we got our level up. And this just makes it more deadly to be um, with a cyball. I see you down there. Oh my goodness, another elevator. Guess we'll take this up. All right. Oh fuck! Go away! Go away! Go away! Bite you with my fist! I I call those guys steroid sensors just because. They do look like they are on steroids. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Oh, hi, Phantom. What's up? How are you throwing bags on me from over there? You're crappy. I realize, I'm sorry about the last recording session, It, I didn't realize how quiet it was. I think it just being, might be my master volume being low. Okay, but okay, he's like, oh, well, I'm gonna be the Phantom. The Phantom has the weakness that every college student does. He has a weakness to the light. Whatever. Shut the you hell just up. just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. True that. Unfortunately, I'm taking on the Phantom with that much health. Fudge bits. And actually, that still can't hurt you, which is annoying. Um, I don't really like stuff. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Alright. Now, any guesses on who the Phantom is? <laughs> Right. Okay, Phantom. All it's right, you time jerk. to find out who you wow, he's really pretty nimble. are. What in the world? Jasper. What? How did he get so fucking thin? He fills I up the totally entire seat. I guess that. Uh uh. You said it was Becky. Okay, the jig right, is up, you. Phantom. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years! Rugged and yeah, romantic are two right. words I would not use He's to describe so agile him. He's so and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe oh, yeah. as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> hmm, how can angry I say critic? this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Your one liner suck, has. I am sorry. This, but this fat bastard is gonna get his ass kicked. I always thought when I watched it at first that that was popcorn. How about these? 
Yeah, but you could totally shank somebody with quill quill tips, especially like that. Those are nice quill tips. Oh. All right. Another one of my favorite boss games. Oh, and gee, I wonder. If this actually kind of tells you what you're supposed to do. So remember that the phantom actually does have a weakness. You asshole! Stop it. Okay, you pick up those candles. Cyploading time. He actually, this is one of the harder fucking boss fights to do. I'm actually kind of glad I bought those dream floats. Dream floats. Bitch. Kill me. Here, you bitch. Pay for that one, spotlight. Okay, so... Basically, the way this fight works, he won't destroy the spotlight unless you kill some of his, um, of his life. It will enough of it. Mechanical? Shh. I'm no more mechanical than you are, asshole. Land? I'm kicking your ass. Do, 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 do. Come on. He actually can't con destroy it until, um... No, 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 no. Okay, so I didn't actually. Not good enough. A terrible fight. Not up to task. Oh, shut up. Oop. Tired. Yeah, I like how the actual ink says words. He just said awkward. Nope. <laughs> Managed to stay awake? Bitch. I'm gonna kick your ass. Uh, bitch. I yeah, he's gonna destroy the spotlight. I thought I got them all. I'll give you what I gave your brother over there, huh? Actually, it was its sister. You can't tell Spotlight's genders, I'm sorry. You fail. You must know the difference between a male and a female Spotlight. Oh. Nope. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No. Thank you. Rat. Thank you, Raz. Okay. Let's run over to the last Spotlight. Hide behind it for cover. Not use Clairvoyance. Oh, there we go. It's like my retinas are being fried. Right in the review. If you kill the kid, kill that kid with the goggles. No one knows where I am. That's okay. Hey, Peck my eyes out. Guess what? Criticism. That's not criticism. Being a dick does not constitute as criticism. And your deaths are worse than the kids' acting. 